They come every day to pay their respects for the sailors of the Chion An, to pray for the departed, to mourn 46 men who died for no apparent reason. The Daejeon Military Cemetery, two hours south of Seoul, has become a focal point for the silent condemnation of North Korea. Two months after the incident, shock and pain are still evident. Here you can see the grief of a nation and the tears of a mother. But the tears are turning to anger. How can we, people of the same blood, commit this brutal deed? The government should take a stronger stand. They should take strong retaliation against North Korea. Her son, Lee sang Sun was 20 years of age. The Chion An was his first ship. It became his last. <laughs> Kang Kum Ok recites a hymn beside the grave of her 26-year-old son, Ji Yup. His two-year-old daughter sits, oblivious to the death of a father she doesn't know won't be coming back and the crisis that is gripping her country. South Korea lost more than 600,000 servicemen during the war with the North between 1950 and 1953. But through the bitterness and the bloodshed, successive Seoul administrations have sought policies of appeasement with Pyongyang. The sinking of the Chonnan, however, has changed all that. There's a different mindset here now, and that could take some time to shift. Oh, yeah. That will certainly be the case with the old, especially the veterans who have faced North Korea in battle and have been smarting from what they see as overly generous treatment of the enemy. It's sad that young soldiers died like this. When the Korean War broke out, lots of people died. It's also very sad. And it will affect the young too, who are being taught about right and wrong, about the North and South and the price their country has paid over the last 60 years. Memorize their, what they do for us, for our country. It is a good thing to memorize them, right? And I had to, I have been here with my children also, and it is great education for them to think about our nation. There are those who fear conflict, others who say it won't happen. Anything, though, is possible. South Korea is fighting with diplomacy, the push for sanctions, and the ending of economic assistance for its communist neighbor. That has added up to more than $6 billion over the last 10 years. Pyongyang has shot itself in the foot, and relations with the South may have been damaged beyond repair. South Korea is very definite and determined to exercise economic sanction. So I think to restore North-South dialogue or cooperation will be quite remote. I am not optimistic. Unification seems an impossible goal today, but what of the young? When they grow up, will the sinking of Chion An simply be part of the history books or just another bitter reason for the division of the Korean people? Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Seoul.